What we're now going to do is combine all the quadruped positions in order to create the most efficient, smoothest squat we possibly can. So here what we're going to do is go into the quadruped position and straighten the legs and then walk the feet up, getting them as close to the palms as the, as the hands we can. We're then going to position our feet in our squat stance. So whichever way you choose to squat, I'd like you to now position your feet with shoulder width apart and the orientation of the feet to where you usually would. So toes pointing out slightly, heels slightly in. What we're then going to do is plant the heels into the floor and walk backwards, keeping the heels down, the big toe down and the palm of the hands down. What this is going to do is create a tremendous amount of spinal flexion and a lot of tightness through the hamstrings. This at this point is, is uh, not an issue. So you will find there will be a real, um, there will be a great deal of pull throughout the hamstrings and in the entire posterior chain and a lot of spinal flexion. What we're going to do in this position then is position ourselves with our palms down to the floor and then start to breathe in and expand uh, our core region. So now in this region here, we're gonna breathe in through the nose, creating expansion. What we're then gonna do is very, very carefully bring ourselves up and straighten the spine. So now you've got to imagine there's an imaginary line and you're gonna pull yourself up into this position here so now we have a flat spine so think of it at the bottom of a deadlift so now the chin is tucked head is back we have a nice alignment through the thoracic and now if i was to bring this stick in the background it could go on the back of my head the back of my shoulders and my lumbar spine in a straight position here what we're going to do is spend some time in this position really breathing into the trunk driving the knees out and having the middle of the knee aligned with the uh, second toe so this point here so this point here middle of the knee and hip are nice and aligned and just by breathing in this position we're going to get a lot of activity or recruitment in the glutes especially if the knees are in a nice position if you feel your lower back too much uh, or you feel the lower back a lot it means that this is a little bit too advanced for you and you need to work on lower intensity core drills in order to get the correct stimulus then what we're going to do is once we've been in this position here we're then going to look to swing through and drop our hips down going into dorsiflexion here so our knees are now coming over our toes so we're going to have to work on our ankle mobility so we're mobilizing the ankle and we're dropping our hips down towards the floor looking to get in a position where we have a parallel thigh so this thigh is now parallel to the floor we have a completely straight spine or perceived straight um, spine and we're going to breathe into our abdominal region here expanding uh, and exhaling so we're going to contract uh, as we breathe out and we're going to um, expand as we breathe in and we're just looking to hold ourselves in the bottom of the squat position Doing this and then holding this position whilst breathing in and out for anywhere between five to 10 breaths is gonna dramatically improve your ability to be in the bottom of the squat position. Whilst you're in the position here, you could then opt to do about five to 10 squats going up and down just to ingrain the movement and make it as smooth as possible. But this one here, if you're able to maintain and own this position is gonna to lead to a very, very strong, smooth, safe squat movement.